Hello, folks, and welcome back to Foundation. My name's Jeremy. We're here in the Riverlands, my new project that I just got started. And uh, just kind of sitting down here at street level, watching people bustle around, walk around, clip through each other, things like that. And uh, I wanted to show you a little bit of kind of what we've gotten started so far, how things are shaping up. Um, last week, we established our new city, the Riverlands. And uh, we built a couple of blocks, got things settled here. Right now, we have a population of 65, which is pretty high considering how little I'm doing so far. And um, in addition to that, we have um, a little bit of off-camera work that has taken place. I wanted to show you kind of over here. I have this little weaver's shop, which is doing absolutely nothing right now because I don't have any commoners and I don't have any sheep and I don't have any textiles but I wanted to just kind of get this in here right away just to kind of start establishing for myself even how I'm going to start integrating industries into the downtown area as did just a little bit of detailing here kind of give them some spools of fabric and some little terraces here kind of looks pretty neat over here at the edge of the city I made a graveyard which uh, doesn't serve any actual purpose it's purely uh, aesthetic in nature but I wanted to get a little bit of splendor with the church to try to start getting them on my side. Uh, for folks who haven't played this game before, a lot of the things that you can unlock are done so through uh, gaining splendor and gaining favor uh, and influence is the word actually, influence with uh, the church, with the kingdom, and with labor, which is I guess just like, I don't know, guys who like when you treat your workers right. And that's how you unlock stuff. And actually, I can unlock a few things here. I can unlock a rustic cloister. I can unlock a refectory, a uh, treasury, and hospitium. We'll come back to that idea. And then over here, I started to build some docks. And this is kind of going to be the main focus of the first part of this episode, is I want to start getting some docks going. These are, um, these are an asset from uh, the modding community. These are import and export docks. Right now this one is exporting wooden planks, which I have here sitting in this warehouse on this little wooden, um, or on this little stone, what do you call this, like an abutment or something like that. And I got this down off screen uh, partly just because uh, I didn't have time to record an episode, but I had some time to play and I wanted to just kind of do something uh, enjoyable. And also I wanted to kind of test out some of these assets and, f you know, figure out exactly how they work, how I'm going to use them. So the focus of this episode in the first section is going to be filling out this section here with a lot of industrial uh, stuff, a lot of our kind of like, kind of our nastier industries, the things that people don't really want to live around. Those are all going to be over here, kind of far away from the bulk of our population center. And I wanted to point out as well that our population center, you know, right now, the vast majority of the people. We have six. We have 65 people who live here. 54 of them live in this chunk of buildings right here. So we have the capacity for a lot more people before we really have to start thinking about expanding housing any further than we have. This is, I mean, this is room enough for probably about 300 people if I had to guess. So, you know, I think the main goals of this episode are going to be uh, clearing out all of this stuff from the center of town, getting it all moved over here into a nice, neat, and arranged sort of a way, a nice, compact sort of a profile for all of this to keep it matching this area. I want to get that all moved over here. I want to expand these docks all the way down to the end. I want to move fishing over to here. And I want to build a big, nice, big church kind of right around this area here. Because I want to ultimately... I want to improve everybody's uh, lifestyle because that's the main thing I'm, list I'm, I'm missing right now is uh, service. So if I can get service uh, for all 65 people, then I will be able to start upgrading some people to commoners, which means that I can start using my bailiff's office. I can start collecting taxes. We can really start moving things forward gameplay-wise. All right, so let's get things started here. First things first is I want to I want to add a couple of small warehouses over here. We're going to use the little sheds because I think they look a little bit better than the, I don't know what they call that one, the small shed, something like that. 
and let's see I want to try to make a nice straight line of like two or three of these coming right off of this dock we're gonna put three of them oops oh geez all right we're gonna put three of them right next to each other one two three let's give each of them a door let's build those okay we got some guys showing up to drop off their goods drop off all the wood that we're gonna need to build this I what are these need actually they need regular wood and they need planks so guys should just be bringing planks from right here but they don't seem to be so that's kind of annoying go ahead and get those built come on uh, I actually don't really like the way that these look when they're overlapped I think that uh, yeah I think that these little things overlapping each other that's gonna be a problem for me meanwhile we have a new tail that can be heard Wow, we do have a lot of berries. You're absolutely right about that. Let's go ahead and accept that. Thank you. Okay, now everybody is pretty happy that they uh, have a lot of berries and they don't really care as much that they don't have a church. Okay, so unfortunately it does not look like we can move these after the fact. So let's just go ahead and destroy that. One. Move it a little bit off. Two. A little bit off. And three. And then let's give them doors. One, two, three. Let's build that. These are pretty okay. I mean, this is like a little intense with the, uh, <laughs> it's a little bit intense with the spikes. But let's see how that looks. Eh, no, I don't think I'm gonna do that either. Let's see, does this one look any better? The fence, that does. Okay, we'll do that. And we'll do that. And that should double also in keeping villagers from walking in between these buildings, which is really something that I don't want to happen. I want it to kind of create a nice little route going this way. Then I'm gonna add another warehouse, a traditional vanilla one. I'm gonna kind of put it right up against the back of this shed because we don't need any access from the back here and these sheds don't need any access. And so that will, that'll, I think it'll look okay. These aren't too close together. And I think I could probably detail a little bit in this area to kind of break that up a little bit. So let's build that as well. And that guy's gonna hold wood as well because I just realized that these two sheds right here, are full of wood, way too much wood. I really need to start building some stuff pretty fast. Okay, and we've got ourselves a little bit of a rainy season here now. So I figured I would slow things down a little bit, shift focus away from this dock area, which is really starting to come together pretty nicely. I think the uh, storage situation is perhaps a little, um, 
Uh, it's a little less developed than I had wanted it to be, or I should say it's taking up a little less space than I would have liked it to. Uh, we are actually, I mean, we have more than enough storage here. Um, between these two, where I mean, this one doesn't even have anything in it yet. I think we have enough storage to really last a pretty long time. Uh, I will probably move some other secondary industries into this zone, like steel and, and what have you. But for now, let's kind of sit here and, you know, wait for the rainy season to pass. I'm going to take my focus away from this. And, um, oh, we have some new people coming here in the rainy season. Don't they know we're going to be stretched a little bit thin? Actually, I don't think we will be. I mean, look at this. We have so many berries for 77 people. We're going to be more than fine on that. Fish, we're going to be pretty fine on as well. That's a little bit lower, but I mean, look at that, 460. That's more than a full warehouse is worth. Welcome to the village. Enjoy the food. I think we're going to be just fine, but um, let's take a moment here and start looking at our church options. So I think, you know, ultimately, I want the main square of the village to be kind of like this in this space here. So I think church is probably going to go right about here. So let's take a look here. I think the rustic church is probably not going to be the one that I'm going to go with uh, just because, you know, I do have uh, I do have a couple cool pieces here to work with, but I don't like the thatched roof and I have a mod that changes that, but um, that doesn't unlock for a little bit longer. So I think I'm going to actually use the one that comes with the monastery, and I believe that I will be allowed to do that. I believe it does prioritize the monks as the main users of this, but regular people can use it as well, I'm pretty sure. Um, I guess we'll find out after we build it. So let's see. Rustic Hall has a nice big window and a nice flat side. I think that's probably what I'm going to use. And let's kind of set it up like right about here. Um, let's see, our hill starts just about there. So maybe we could even move it back a little bit more without totally messing up the way that it will look. Um, you know, the way that these pieces will snap together. See, we do have a little bit of trouble here. So let's move it forward a little bit until those are nice and lined up. Okay. Does that change anything? It does. Okay, so 24 and 24. So that'll be 48 all told. We have 78 people, so we need to add some more to this. Let's see what happens when we add a gallery to the side. Where are you gonna snap to? Can you snap to something, please? There we go. Now, I don't love the way that you can see the windows here. What if I make these a little bit taller? a little better. Can we go even taller than that? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So your capacity is 10. That's 24, 48, 58. Let's put another one on the other side. Did I do it like that? I did. Okay. So now we have 48, 58, 68. Does a bell tower change things for us? Ooh, I like this facade, too. Let's see what the facade looks like. Does that change anything? Yeah, it doesn't really look right for us, though, does it? Let's see. Enclosed belfry, open belfry, wooden belfry. i be honest with you. I think the wooden one looks probably the, the most charming, but I think we're going to go with this one. Let's see, does that add any capacity? It doesn't. Uh-oh. Let's make that nice and tall. That was gonna go down one. Okay, the window still works. Okay, so that's pretty nice, I have to say. Let's throw this on the back. There we go. Okay, now that's gonna be 24, 48, 58, 68, 78. That's enough for everybody. Everybody's happy. Let's give this thing a couple of doors. 
and move on with our lives. That's nice. That's a nice big church, right? That feels pretty. Let's see what happens if we, does that cover the windows completely? That does, okay. Still doesn't change the capacity, but I like the look of that a little bit better. Beautiful, nice church. Let's see if we can add a little bit of splendor to the thing. Oh, look at all these monument decorations that I'm not supposed to have. This is from some mod or another. Hmm. Some candles. Where would the candles go? I don't even know. Who do you snap to? Do you snap to anybody? Oh, I could put it up on the roof. That's pretty funny. No, I'm not going to do that. That's too silly. We have a wooden cross, a rustic cross, a rustic statue, and some graves. Well, I don't think I'm going to put any graves here because we already have a pretty big and significant graveyard over here. So I think I'm just going to put... Oh, we can put this big gold cross, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to use the regular stone cross. Put it right up here at the top. Do we need a door here in the front? I don't think we do. Uh, I guess actually we do, because it's going to be opening up onto the town square. So that would probably... That would probably be ideal, huh? Yeah, let's see. What door is going to look nice there? Maybe this one with the, with the stairs? And then here's the last question is, do we want to move this a little bit closer to these buildings over here? Because otherwise this is going to be a bit of a dead zone here that I'm not sure I really have any sort of plan for. Oops. Well, that's okay. Yeah, I think we're going to do this. We're going to move you. Let's move you in line with this street. Okay. And you over there. Oh, come on. Get down that hill. That's good enough, right? Last looks. Give it a little. Oh, man. We're so close to being the size of this block, aren't we? But I guess this is up the hill, so it's not really going to function the same. This isn't going to be a street. By the way, a very funny thing that happens over here. I don't know if we'll catch it. The villagers really love to just come here and just hang out with these bushes. I think it's changed a little bit since I've put down more decorations, but there was a little while there where, like, I think this was the only, this was the only uh, leisure activity that anybody had was to hang out behind the treasury and just chill with these bushes. <laughs> okay, I think, I think this is going to be it. We need. 243 stone, we got 850, we need 60 planks, we got 1600, we need 26 tools, uh-oh, we only have 25, and we need 15 polished stones. But we're trading for tools, and at some point we traded for polished stones, and they've just been sitting there doing nothing, gathering dust, for goodness sake. Let's, uh, let's do it. Okay, building it. Here it comes, and then once this is built, then our villagers are gonna be really happy about their level of service. I believe that 20% will go down to zero because as far as I'm concerned, that's everybody's need for church fulfilled. So then everyone's gonna be happy and we will have fulfilled everybody's needs at least once, which means I'll be able to start promoting people to commoners, which means I'll be able to hire a bailiff for this manor house over here. And I'll be able to start uh, doing taxes, I'll be able to make somebody into a stone cutter so I don't have to keep trading for it. And I have a couple other things that I think I need commoners for. But you know what? They're going to start asking for entertainment. So I'm going to have to build a tavern sooner than later. And I also have this nice little mod pack that I downloaded of entertainment buildings. Where are they? Are they in service? Yes, they are. We have this entertainment pack where I can build a barber shop, a bathhouse, a brothel, a gallo keep, a haunted mansion, and a saloon. Um, I really like how 
pretty much most of these look. The Haunted Mansion in particular looks really cool, although I'm not totally sure that I think that it um, aesthetically fits, uh, slash I'm not really totally sure that a Haunted Mansion would be particularly entertaining. The Saloon, I think, is probably my least favorite one because, uh, I mean, it's just like made of wood. It looks a little like old, you know, Western, like it's out of like a Western movie, not quite keeping with the medieval look of things. The brothel is pretty cool, and I'm very curious to see how it works. <laughs> um, but I need glass for that, which I don't have. And there we have it. Our church is complete. We have enough space for 78 people. 78 people live here. Our happiness is now up to 100%, which means we can start promoting some serfs to be commoners. We can hire a bale if we can make a stonemason. And look at this thing. I think it turned out looking pretty nice. I want to add some more like details and doodads to it kind of as we go, but for the time being, I think it's looking pretty nice. It looks like most people are using this door, um, which I guess was to be expected. Oh, and we have a merchant. Wood for the elders. I mean, I don't need money. I have more than I can hold, which I'm not really totally sure how that works. Um, so... But I guess we'll get the influence. Whatever. Sell it to him. All right, so let's get started on detailing this guy. We'll switch to a time lapse for that. And there you have it, folks. Our church is done. It has some nice gardens around it with some trees and bushes and flowers and things. People are going absolutely wild for our variety of bench options. And I think that's going to just about do it for the episode. Um, we've done a pretty good job here getting this church together, fulfilling everybody's little needs. We've got our docks pretty nicely established they're they're going they're doing their thing this guy is floating off to absolutely nowhere i think we got a lot done here this week i think in the next episode i'm going to try to build a little bit more of the manor estate you know we have this one manor house over here i want to build one that will kind of take the place of a you know, a palace, um, something big and magnificent, maybe somewhere around here where these berries are currently. And that will allow us to start collecting taxes and we'll have a great hall and we'll have a couple other um, functions. I, I feel like I need to build more treasury, but I really, it doesn't seem like I need to. Uh, it's not super clear how this is working, but I'm, I'm holding on to more coins than I have space for. But I guess we'll live with that. We'll we'll figure out what's going on there. Or we won't, and that'll be fine. I think I also would like to start establishing some sort of a military presence up here on this big, you know, plateau that we have up here. I know the the housing is going to stretch up to about 
you know, here or so. And then I think here I want to have like a big, um, a big castle fort type of thing. You know, this is the main entryway into the city from this side. So I'd like to have that pretty well protected. There's no actual in-game function for that, but aesthetically speaking, I think it would be nice. It would also be nice to get the kingdom to not absolutely hate my guts. They are at a negative 19 influence, negative 50 splendor. So that's not so hot. Uh, not that there's particularly much to do with all the kingdom splendor that I would gain, but you know, we like to have them on our side. So all that and more in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Hope you have a wonderful weekend. My name is Jeremy. You can find me on Twitter at, at Jeremy Thunder. You can check out my podcast, Generation Loss. It's about movies. And go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon. Like and comment and all that sort of stuff. So people find the channel. So people can enjoy the content that you are currently enjoying. I think that's everything. I'll see you next week.